Lloyd Allen Trigg earned his pilot's wings on the 16th of January 1942 and was commissioned as a pilot officer. Later that same year, he was promoted to flying officer and was posted to Coastal Command in England before then being assigned to 200 Squadron RAF. As a first pilot, he took part in 46 operational reconnaissance patrols, convoy escort flights, and anti-submarine patrols. 200 Squadron was initially equipped with Hudson aircraft, but switched to B-24 Liberators. And so it was that on the 11th of August 1943, Trigg was on his first operational flight in a Liberator when he engaged a German submarine. The resulting action would lead to him being awarded a Victoria Cross. Here's the citation, which was gazetted on the 2nd of November 1943, describing what happened. Flying Officer Trigg had rendered outstanding service on convoy escort and anti-submarine duties. He had completed 46 operational sorties and had invariably displayed skill and courage of a very high order. One day, in August 1943, Flying Officer Trigg undertook, as captain and pilot, a patrol in a Liberator, although he had not previously made any operational sorties in that type of aircraft. After searching for eight hours, a surfaced U-boat was sighted. Flying Officer Trigg immediately prepared to attack. During the approach, the aircraft received many hits from the submarine's anti-aircraft guns and burst into flames, which quickly enveloped the tail. The moment was critical. Flying Officer Trigg could have broken off the engagement and made a forced landing in the sea. But if he continued the attack, the aircraft would present a no-deflection target to deadly accurate anti-aircraft fire. And every second spent in the air would increase the extent and intensity of the flames and diminish his chances of survival. There could have been no hesitation or doubt in his mind. He maintained his course in spite of the already precarious condition of his aircraft and executed a masterly attack. Skimming over the U-boat at less than 50 feet with anti-aircraft fire entering his opened bomb doors, Flying Officer Trigg dropped his bombs on and around the U-boat where they exploded with devastating effect. A short distance further on, the Liberator dived into the sea with her gallant captain and crew. The U-boat sank within 20 minutes and some of her crew were picked up later in a rubber dinghy that had broken loose from the Liberator. The Battle of the Atlantic has yielded many fine stories of air attacks on underwater craft. But Flying Officer Trigg's exploit stands out as an epic of grim determination and high courage. This was the path of duty that leads to glory. The submarine that Trigg and his crew attacked was U-468 under the command of Oberleutnant Clemens Schamung. And as the citation said, he, along with some others, were rescued sometime after the event. But that's not where their involvement ends. Schamung and his crew were the only witnesses to Trigg's actions, and it was they that reported what Trigg had done, and it was they who recommended that Trigg be decorated for his bravery. This award stands unique as being the only Victoria Cross given based on evidence solely provided by the enemy. The Governor-General of New Zealand, Sir Cyril Newell, presented the Victoria Cross to Trigg's widow Nola on the 28th of May 1944. At Nola's request, the presentation took place at their home so that family and friends could attend. As Trigg was lost at sea, he has no official burial place, but he is commemorated on the Malta Memorial, a monument to the 2,298 Commonwealth aircrew who lost their lives around the Mediterranean during the Second World War 
and who have no known grave.